Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be going through Litecoin and going over the targets that I have on this coin to the upside and where we could be looking at a potential intraday support from here on out on the Litecoin chart. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you really enjoy the video and we'll also be covering the burning question on many people's lips right now of is it a good time to short Litecoin? I'll be giving you my answer to that in this video. So, without further said or do, let's begin. Litecoin, Litecoin, Litecoin. One that I hold very close to my heart. As you all know, we've been trading Litecoin very, very, very well. Whew. Well, here we're going to begin. Where we can obviously see we had this really big impulse to the upside. We got our retracement and we got our secondary impulse to the upside. Each time from the low to the high to the low back up to the high of the channel. Where we were consolidating for a few days at the high of the channel. Before breaking through the top of the channel. Somewhat similar to Bitcoin now. Uh, but Litecoin, I think, is even more bullish than Bitcoin. Uh, but, you know, we had this consolidation below resistance before my period of higher lows. And, you know straight through the level, you know. Uh, you can also see, which uh, was a really good heads up that we were going to be breaking this, is when you look, obviously, <laughs> obviously, when you look over on Litecoin, and what we can see is that period of consolidation that we had, you had absolutely crazy massive bullish divergences. So you had massive bullish divergences. You had this build up of just like the high increasing delta and open interest during the move. And this was, you know, like, like, the contenders and champions watching this, like I taught you in the last TPO video, this is the recipe of consolidation under resistance. You're very, 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 very likely to break to the upside. This is why we love technical analysis, because that's exactly what happened. We broke to the upside. So we broke through that big $360 level that was keeping us down for a few days. And now we are clearly through that, trading at about $400 uh, at the time of the recording. Obviously, ladies and gentlemen, this is a Last time I spoke about this in the public video was, uh, you know, a few weeks ago now. Well, Litecoin was still only trading at $260. So that was uh, my video called Litecoin Ready to Moon. And the amount of messages from people that I've received that I've made insane amount of money off of this is, is incredible. Of course, only paper money. But um, people very happy with their paper money on the demo account gains because good learning experience for them, I suppose. And, um, you know... Yeah, sky's the you know, I've been saying like sky's the limit on this, but what do we mean by this? So first question of is it a good time to short Litecoin? That's the easiest question for me to answer. And and my opinion is absolutely not. Um I, I have zero interest in trying to short this. I am personally really bullish on, on Litecoin, if you didn't already know. And so yeah, the, the the first question of is this a good it's like I wrote on Twitter here, like there are some major amazing altcoins to be trading right now, but specifically uh, Ethereum is still absolutely amazing. Litecoin is still another amazing one on EOS, of course. It had that retracement now as well. So, you know, they're, they're really good altcoins. So, of course, I'm not going to short a Litecoin when I think it looks amazing on the midterm. Um, so that's the first easy question for me to answer. Is this a good short on Litecoin? Absolutely for me, no. But, hey... Where am I looking towards then? Well, we actually have. So this is the thing. Like Litecoin right now, you know, in and around all time highs. That means there's there's clearly not much resistance to the upside. Well, there isn't any. If, if you're in an all time high, you don't build resistance up. Uh, you generally, you know, you reach a level of, say, Fibonacci extension. You form a range. And that's where you look for your fair value. And if you start to, you know, see decreases in volume, for example, then you're generally going to come back and back test your old range. No? So that's the way that we can look to trade all time highs. And, um, you know, we're, we're currently $399. So $400 is our psychological region of resistance that we're at right now. No, I think we can all agree on that. But do you think this is a technical level of confluence? No, it's more of a psychological. So what we can say is our next big technical level to the upside is actually $450. Okay, so you might want to write this down about $450. And I'm doing this by looking at the Litecoin uh, BTC pair and like working out the uh, increase in price that we would see to reach, you know, and then equating that back to the USD pair. And it would bring us to around $450, $460, which is about a 10 to 15% increase from where we are here. Um, so that's my next target to the upside. But again, this is, you don't want to view this like set in stone. This can have some leeway. Uh, I'm definitely still not short at that price point. Um, we would have to see how the consolidation goes there. You know, if you consolidate there for a few days and then you break down from the low of the range, it 
offers a potential short-term short trade. I would not think of that as a swing trade, but it does, and you know, do get a potential short-term trade of a short. But yeah, I'm much more interested in the longs. And now we have an intraday support. Obviously, coming back to a, you know, if we back test this old channel resistance old channel resistance as support we could say that we have support now on litecoin around 360 dollars for a nice intraday level um so so that's really how i think we can look at this we have where we are right now at 400 dollars. we have the resistance which is pretty um you know i don't want to say it's, it's a big resistance per se but it's a technical level uh, around 450 460 dollars above us so this is a nice area to look for the next potential range and if we drop down from here then we got now 360 dollars uh, as as a support so i think honestly i just think litecoin is is one of these altcoins which was totally um it was totally forgot about you know it was it was really a project that only two months ago, nobody had interest in. And now suddenly we're trading at $400. Everybody's interested in the altcoin. Everybody wants to long altcoin. Everybody wants to get in involved on it. But haven't I told you this before, that the smart trader is accumulating at the lows. And now it's like the, the rat race, essentially, of everybody wanting to FOMO into Litecoin. We're literally at an all-time high, the highest it's been in years. And now everybody wants to, everyone wants to buy it. Now everybody wants to get involved. Even a few weeks ago, while we were trading at two fifty dollars, we were recognizing that Litecoin's ready to explode, and this this is the time to accumulate. This is the time to buy in before, you know, really you get these massive increases. Like, you know, you have to. The one thing that I would say is like, do you do you want to buy today at four hundred and one dollars? I mean, personally, I think we're going higher, but it still doesn't. That doesn't equate necessarily to a good buy at four hundred and two dollars, does it? Because you know, you're literally buying into all-time highs. So you kind of want to wait for the back tests and, you know, people are going to say, oh, I want to just get in. I don't want to wait for the back test. Well, there's been plenty of opportunities to buy this, even if you were buying like consolidation under resistance. So you have to remember this has had several back tests, has had several moves to the downside, even during the rise. So you do have to remember that there will be opportunities, uh, plenty of opportunities to come on this one. I truly believe so. But for now, I do think it looks bullish and it does look like we're going to be pushing up. Um, should we get our back test, we know our level of support, which is pretty important level of support. We see the weekly all the way back down there at 223. But we got the, the channel back test as support next. Around $360. We got our target to the upside. And, uh, you know, we have to, ladies and gentlemen, we absolutely have to because people are going to say, how on earth did the Litecoin bull market start out of nowhere? And as we say, Elon Musk started the Dogecoin bull market. We, we, I think we can safely agree on that. He had a high level of influence on the Doge bull market. But now Doge market is, is heading down and Litecoin is the new star of the show. And why did the Litecoin bull market begin? As we all know, ladies and gentlemen, the Litecoin bull market began because of CC Pool. The day CC Pool started to buy Litecoin on the 25th of March was the day the bull market started on Litecoin. So this is why you want to take note of the levels that we are trading on Litecoin, because we are the people that started the Litecoin bull market. 25th of March, the day CC pools started to get involved. 25th of March, the day the bull market begun for Litecoin. And if that isn't a cool and a half, I really do not know what is. But uh, yeah, that was the day, 25th of March. The day the bull market started on Litecoin, the day CC pool bought Litecoin. That's why you want to be aware of the levels that we are looking at here for the paper trades that you are undertaking, of course. And what we're looking for here is around $450 as our, as our region of next resistance, $360 is support. Um, obviously, we have to emphasize very much so that we are just talking about demo and paper trade accounts, so you don't really want to put any, you know, don't, um, you know, we're not giving any financial advice at all. So you do have to do your own research, past results, no, you know, just read the legal disclaimer here, entertainment, educational video only. Uh, that's really, really, really important. You truly understand. And um, with that legal disclaimer out of the way, now you've understood that. You know, we're, we're talking about these potential targets to the upside for our paper accounts and the potential downside targets for, um, you know, where we could look to buy some more paper money off of this. And, you know, this is this is exactly how I'm trading still with the same perspectives as I had when I first bought it on the 25th of March. Again, the reason why I emphasize this so much and I really want to get this in your brain 
is because when we were buying this on the day of the absolute low, the day the bull market began on Litecoin, is that we were buying this at the absolute lows, yeah? So while there was no interest in the coin, while nobody was interested in buying Litecoin, and now we are talking about after a rise in price of nearly 140% in just over one month, which is crazy when you think about it. Now everybody's talking about Litecoin. Now everybody wants to get involved. But smart money does accumulate at the lows. Smart money is not jumping into it here with, with as much eager eagerness as they had down at the bottom, you know. So you just got to bear that in mind when it comes to trading altcoins. You do want to generally wait for these retracements. Um, you might think they're never going to come, but guess what? They will come. Um, I personally feel we're in a wave three to the upside here on Litecoin, which obviously does suggest there's more upside to come before we get our wave four retracement. But that wave four retracement will come. That is, that's a given. So you know, I don't, we don't really suggest you FOMO into this, but I do see for some nice potential. Again, that next support, we, we know where we, we have our next potential support. If we do get acceptance into that range, then obviously we could be looking that back down towards 310, uh, three, $320. But let's take it level to level step at a time, okay? <laughs> don't want to get uh, too carried away to the downside as of yet. You know, but we're talking about local intraday perspectives. If you would like my perspective on a medium term time frame, where we're talking about, you know, a few months into the future. Last night in the Champions live stream, I actually went through Ethereum, Litecoin, DOT. What else did we go through? Tezos, EOS. Um, I think these were the ones that we went through last night. So I went through those altcoins last night and got, went really in depth on them, went through setups with the entries that stopped us and the take profits. So I went pretty in depth and gave a setup at the end of it. So if you're interested in the altcoin setups in real hardcore depth, then um, that's obviously available for the champions. If you wanted to know I was buying it on the 25th, I gave that to all the champions as well. I think people are very content with the amount of uh, paper money that they've made on that, you know, great learning experience. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want this video to go on forever. I'm just going to say, if you have enjoyed, smash the likes right now. Smash the like button. Get that to over 1,000 likes, and I will bring you next an Ethereum analysis. Again, Ethereum is another one that we've traded absolutely amazingly. So if you want to know the next levels, CC pool are trading on Ethereum. Smash the likes, get it to over 1,000, and I'll bring you an Ethereum video. And again, when's <laughs> got to end with we got to end with it. we got to end with it. we got to end with it. Where is it? Yes. <laughs> when CC pool gives a level, it gets respected. So if you want to know the next respected level on Ethereum, smash the likes. And once again, as we're going to end with, this Litecoin trade went exactly as predicted. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you have really enjoyed this one. Hope that you're enjoying the trading environment right now with altcoins and absolutely smashing it. I absolutely am. Hope you have a brilliant day. <laughs> That's me signing out. Goodbye. Cheers.